Okay, this is a commentary track for 2011. I'm going to start out, this is what it kind of looks like um, in the front yard when you start to walk up toward the house. You don't really see much except for a little jack-o'-lantern uh, glowing. It, it, the, the pumpkin is actually stuck on, just sort of on the pole that the, that the little robe is hanging from. And that's actually a flashlight right underneath it. I was going to put a candle inside of it. But the candle that I was going to put inside of it um, sort of fell apart when I started to put it in it. So I just duct taped a flashlight to, uh, to the main pole, stuck it under the jack-o'-lantern that I had uh, popped the bottom out of because it's a foam pumpkin. And I, and I just turned it on, and it actually turned out pretty cool looking. Uh, this is kind of a, a sort of a black demon I have in just right above where the jack-o'-lantern um, scarecrow is. You can't really see him very well. Um, I don't really have him illuminated. He, you're just supposed to sort of see him in the shadows of the, uh, the street light that's right outside my front door. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of pictures of uh, the white sheet maze that everyone has to walk through uh, before they get to uh, to any of the major props in that in my uh, my home haunt. Um, my camera was just really really crappy, and it just the the photos just were horrible and blurry, and there was just no way that they were really going to work out very well. So I I. Just don't have many at all, but this is this is kind of just one area where you just walk right through the um, front entryway. Uh, again, another one of those photos that didn't make it. It uh, kind of got lost in the memory of the camera, and um, and uh, there's just scribbles of of theatrical blood in that and, and paint. And this is right after you get through the back end of it. And you see a uh, spider victim, and there are spiders hanging over the top, um, which you can also see in the uh, 2010 photos. You can see the big awning where I have this huge spider web and all this little big and little spiders sort of hanging over. And I had a brand new spider victim that I made for this year, and he turned out really, really nice. You can see uh, some really nice photographs of him at my website. Uh, then we have... Uh, sort of turning back towards the space that I'm actually sitting in, which is the garage in the, in the uh, garage entryway. Um, of course, I'm taking the photograph, so I'm not sitting in the chair uh, directly on the other side. But it's at this point that um, uh, one group of uh, teenage girls absolutely refused to come through, and one out of the entire group decided to come through, and she had just reached the other side of the white sheet. And she, you would be able to see me through the doorway uh, lit by colored lights inside uh, the garage, and she just sort of backed away and said, no way, I'm, I'm not going through there. And there's an archway of uh, boughs that I had cut off of my maple tree, and they're, and they're all curved, and they make this really big arch, and there's actually several of them, though you can't really see them very well. And they all have bats and spiders and cobwebs hanging off of them, um, and bells, too. Because the wind was blowing pretty well, I had little bells, so they all made little tinkling sounds, too. It was really, really cool. Um, this is uh, right outside the garage door as you're kind of like looking down the hall. Um, off to the right, you can see uh, my angel statue and sort of my um, creepy, weird garden thing. Uh, it's actual, actual vines. Those are all real dying vines over there. I have a sort of out of control morning glory that just sort of appeared one year and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year and I love it. And it just, uh, you just partially just rip the vines off of the building and just sort of hang them limp. And it's, it just, it just turns out really, really cool for Halloween. I just love it. And with uh, my sort of art deco weird angel sort of sitting there. One of these days I'm going to have her crying bloody tears. Uh, sort of the archway to the um, cemetery that I have. It's not a very big cemetery. Uh, one of these days I really have to just sort of do an overhaul and and really get some really good fencing for it and everything. But this is sort of some of the branches and bats and, and some of my crows you can see as well as the, some of the skulls around the fences and that. Uh, and what a close up of one of the fence gates and my one of my crows, Roderick. I don't know why I did that, I just did. 
um, some of the some of the headstones. Uh, the one at the very front, you know, it kind of looks like there's a hand actually coming out of the headstone. That's actually a three-dimensional sort of hand that's made out of an old furnace filter. It's one of the old metal furnace filters that you're supposed to be able to sort of hose off and reuse again and again and again every year that just don't work. But I just kind of like ripped the silver bits out of it and sort of formed it into a hand and I glued it to the front of the headstone where there's a little arch and it looks like it's reaching through. It's actually kind of cool. It's a bit small um, with my mother and father headstones in the back. Oh, this was, I took this photo just because for some bizarre reason this year my fogger wasn't working very well. I think it's maybe it's because I left some of the fog juice from the previous year in there and it got kind of clogged and it was just bad. I will never do that again. And um, suddenly my fog machine just started working inexplicably. I don't know why it just did. So I just took a photo of uh, the fog sort of building up in the cemetery. Um, my husband, who was sort of my, my Igor, he was shambling along. I remember I remember there was um, this group of people that came through. It was a bunch of adults with a bunch of little kids. And um, one woman just kept asking questions the entire time. Like, my husband literally walked with a lip the entire time, and that was just fantastic. And this one woman just kept, kept bugging him. It's like, why are you walking like that? Well, it, it, he actually had this really bad English accent, and he's like, and he goes, well, it's, be, it's because I'm limping. It's like, well, why? Because I've got a bum knee. And it just kept going, and she would she would even try talking to me, even though here I am sitting in my chair waiting for the little children to come. I'm dressed. You can't really tell, but there's a painting off to um, the left side of the screen, and you can see that there's a big painting there, and and there's a sort of an anime-ish girl, and she's holding a doll, and I'm actually portraying myself as that doll, and I'm just. I'm wearing white gloves and the white mask. My hair is just draped down over my face and over the mask. And it's literally just a pair of black eyes. And it's just a porcelain white face. There's no holes for the nose. There's no holes for the mouth. It's just a plain sort of very bisque, featureless face mask with just these huge black eyes. And it's really, really freaky, which is why I bought it to begin with. And I'm just sort of like dressed in a cape and a shirt and a really long black skirt. And, and it, I, I just dressed up as the doll. Sort of this weird sort of children's area gone horribly, horribly long, wrong. And I've got all kinds of toys. I've got like this big puffer fish that's sitting in a chair next to me. And, and uh, I've got stuff hanging from the ceiling. These are all blow-up things that are actually... Some of them you have to actually bat out of your way in order to actually walk through the door. There's jack-o'-lanterns, and there's a big black cat, and there's an alligator and a rubber ducky, and they're, they're just kind of like hanging there with cobwebs and, and spiders and stuff. And some of them you have to actually knock out of the way to get there. I got that from another haunted house, too, where they had beach balls in this giant hallway, and you actually, and there were like big, like, beach balls and fluorescent colors and there were black lights every year and it was really really cool and I thought oh that's cool just just hanging inflatable stuff from the ceiling so that's what I did and uh here's a better here's a bigger shot of of the painting um unfortunately there was some gloss black used in it so it kind of washed out in the photograph with the flash but um, you can see a couple of my weird little dolls in the chairs and the, the lenticular family photos quote unquote on the on the uh, back wall flanking the rather large painting that actually changes as you look at them. I got those from the dollar store. They were a buck a piece. Some of the other toys, a rocker, a rocking horse, the cabinet with the big lock on it. You don't know what's in it. You don't think you want to know what's in it. There's a bunch of bottles all in the background. There's all kinds of weird things on that table back there that's just kind of random. I, I ran out of time. Oh, oh, Shivering Sammy. My zombie baby that I bought for that year, you press a little button on her tummy, and she just, she's like this demonic tickle me owl. It's really, really awesome. I love her. It's a shame she doesn't have a uh, sound or or, um, or a light sensor, though, that will set her off. You actually have to press her button, which didn't actually say that on the packaging, but yeah, you, you actually have to press the button on her belly in order to make her do anything. 
Ah, my, my first zombie baby. Um, Willie Ratten, Rattenzer? Rat, Ratzinger? Rattenzer? Rattenzer? Rattensburg. Rattensburg. And he's got like a couple of rats in his, in his lap. And I found a couple of uh, rubber um, latex foam rats that Walmart that year that kind of matched the ones that Willie is holding. So I actually attached them to the bassinet he's in. By the way, this bassinet I actually got for free. One of my uh, one of my neighbors was moving, and they threw it out with the trash when they were moving. And I said, "Oh, perfect! A bassinet for my baby Willie." And so I took it apart, and I badly dyed all the fabric in it, and I threw it back together, and and now baby Willie has a bassinet. So I'm really really happy with that.